Hi gang, today we're going to talk about foam roller and specifically foam rolling the back. So there's several things I want to cover and the first is just foam rolling the back normally. So as I do that, I'm going to sit down in front of the foam roller and lay back on it, elevate my hips off the ground so my feet are down. And one of the things that you want to do is as you go down your spine towards your hips, you want to have your arms down, okay? And then as you go up the spine, you want to elevate the arms and sometimes at the very top of the spine you need to actually elevate your hips and it shifts the weight more into the foam roll and it helps to change the fulcrum point in the spine. We want extension in those joints. That's the whole reason we're doing this. Okay? It's to work the muscles but it's to get extension in those joints that are usually locked up. So here we go. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to elevate my hips off the ground. Feet are down. I'm going to roll down. And then as I come up, I'm going to elevate my arms. We're going to do that several times, and we're going to see where the tender spots are. So, uh, right in here, again, as I go up toward the very top of my spine, I elevate my hips, and it slants my, the weight down toward my shoulders, and I can really feel that. Okay, but let's say right in here, I have a really good tender spot. So what I want to do is I want to put my hips down so I stop rolling, cross my arms, and I'm going to do like a little mini crunch. It's not really to build the abs. This is to actually just tense and then relax again over the foam roll so that we get extension in the spine. So right here, and I'm just going to pull up, just tense to here, and relax over the foam roller. Oh, and you can really feel that, okay? Next, what I like to do, is I like to pull my arm over, and this is gonna allow me to get the shoulder blade over here more lateral, so I can roll between the shoulder blade and the spine. It's an awesome place. Most people, it's very tender. So I'm gonna pull my arm over, I'm gonna rotate just a little bit, and now I'm going to roll the back. Again, higher up on your back, you have to elevate your hips a little more. So I'm gonna roll that out really good. Oh man, that feels good. All right, now technically not the back, but something that's responsible for a lot of shoulder, neck, and arm pain is working on the muscles of the shoulder blade, okay? The scapula, and the two muscles are called the infraspinatus and the teres minor. So a lot of times, I'm already in position, I just roll off to the side, I've got my shoulder blade on the foam roller, I elevate my arm, okay? And same thing, I'm gonna pick up my hips, I'm gonna roll back and forth. And you can kind of tilt your body a little forward or a little back, find the tender spots, and roll them out. So technically not the back, but a very, very helpful thing to do. Okay, last thing. Sometimes you have a trouble spot, usually between the shoulder blades. A lot of people do. A lot of people carry a lot of tension there. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the foam roller the opposite way. We're going to lay down on it, being careful not to fall off. And we're going to put the top of the foam roller uh, right over the area of restriction in the spine, okay? So I'm going to get here, okay, right about there. And so same thing, I'm going to do like a mini crunch. I'm going to cross my arms across my chest. You're going to make sure that when you go back, you don't hit your head on the floor. That does not feel good, trust me. So we're going to come up, tense, and then relax over the end of the foam roller. And you can be very specific with this. When you're doing the mini crunches the other way, you get, a, you get an area, you get a couple of joints, but when you do this, you can actually isolate one joint at a time. It's awesome. So, same thing. We're gonna arch back, tense, arch, and then I'm just gonna shimmy up and keep going. And you can feel, a lot of times, little pops. That's exactly what we want. We wanna get that, that joint opened up. It's been restricted, it hasn't been moving, and those pops are telling us that we're getting some motion back in there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.